Lee Rick. Arms, arms, and again, down, down, and flaps. 30, 30, 30, and you've got uh, 1,000. Approaching decision height. Check. Check. Minimums. Check. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Iconic aircraft. Uh, I still remember my first day on Gatwick Line, uh, meeting the jumbo for the first time, and it's just that that iconic aircraft with, with, with the bubble, and it's it, it, it will be missed. The belly area is one area that gets a lot of wear with weather and fluids. So these are the outflow valves. So on the grounds they're open uh, to prevent the aircraft from pressurising due to uh, the cooling air on the avionics and other such things as the air conditioning packs. Both parts, as they're inspected over on their maintenance schedule, will require the paint to be fully stripped from that component. We have the four set of gear back here. So we have the, the wing, wing landing gear on each side and then we have the body landing gear. Uh, the body gear actually has a couple of degrees of steering capability. It actually steers in the opposite direction to the nose wheel steering uh, to assist on tight turns. See with the uh, brake units here, we have an indicator pin. Now this shows how much remaining life that we've got left on that brake unit. What we're, we're looking for when, when the aircraft comes in, again, is any signs of damage to the, the cowlings to the pylon. Uh, we'll have a technician will go into the intake and inspect the blades to make sure that there's no impact damage, no signs of bird strikes or any on or matter. We've retained 
turn seven aircraft now, and this, this is the last of them, and uh, this will be finished next week, so it's the end of the chapter for us. We have to maintain everything that's ever done on these aircraft by way of records. So that's every part that's replaced, every repair that's done, or, albeit the engines, the airframe, all has to be fully traceable. So if you imagine 90 years, every flight this make, the tech log pages, everything on there, we have to be able to justify to the owners or to the lessors that this aircraft is compliant. Any questions they ask, we have to then pull those records and say, yes, it's fully traceable. And do you know what? The team have done an amazing job, and uh, the aircraft, uh, we're on track to return all of these by Christmas. So we've been working on this for a couple of months, uh, figuring out how we're going to bid farewell to the Queen of the Skies, Jerry, because iconic aeroplane, as you know, Virgin Atlantic started our operations with one lease, second hand, 747-200 in 1984, same year I was born. Um, we've had 747s in our fleet ever since, we've had 37 747s over 36 years. This is our very last one, usual Virgin Atlantic style, what we would have loved to have done would have been to open it up, have an open day, get thousands of people through, everybody on board, have a look at the pictures and the engines, all that sort of thing. Of course, gosh darn bloody COVID means we can't do that. So what we've done is we've, uh, we've just had this little event today. Some very, very lucky t ticket, ticket holders have, uh, have managed to get hold of uh, I think they're luckier than uh, the guys who got the golden ticket for Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Um, we're absolutely delighted to have such a nice atmosphere. Everybody's here. We've shown them around the aircraft. We've given them a tour. We've had their photos of the engine. We've given them a meal on board. And we're just, we've got the last uh, third out of three groups today are uh, just having their tour around and they're going to have a meal on board shortly. And then that's it. That's, these are the last ever customers to, to dine on board. The British Registered 747. My time goes back a few years, <laughs> and um, although we're saying waving goodbye to this aircraft, I would have the pleasure of waving hello to it because I delivered it over from New Zealand when we first got it back in 2001. I've been quite emotional today, I didn't think I would be. Just something about a 747 that is just when you work on it and fly on it like we do, it's just right here in your heart, and there's just nothing else like it. There's no other aeroplane in the sky that beats it. 50 years old. There'll be another, uh, no other aeroplane that gets built that will be here 50 years after its first day in service. I've probably flown around about a dozen uh, of the um, 747s that Virgin had, uh, uh, and very lucky actually because it's, it's, this is a kind of a nice end as well today because I, uh, albeit at the outbound centre, I did my command on this very aircraft. They love this girl. Talking to those last people, I was Chilly, what was that? Kirsty served us on our flights to Orlando. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. <laughs> see you soon, yeah? Take care, all the best. See ya. Nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you. Just looking at the flight plans now, that just come in, and um, we're, we're just all kind of looking at it separately at this moment in time. And then once we've all looked at it independently, then we'll come together and we'll talk about what we're going to do how much fuel we would take, etc, etc. Yeah, I've known Zay for over 25 years, so it's quite nice to be doing the last flight with him. Um, we're at uh, the same company where we started our careers as well, AUK. So it's been nice sort of progression through the airlines and the Virgin, so it's been great. I've known these guys on the 7-4 for uh, 18 years or so, uh, so absolute privilege. Sprinkled with a bit of feeling of betrayal that we're dropping her off in the desert, but uh, <laughs> a privilege for certain. What we're looking at now is just uh, weather at the destination, uh, our en route weather and any notices that might affect us, like for, for instance here, um, they've been having runway closures and things like that, which may affect our fuel decision at the, uh, for the other end, basically. Uh, at the moment it's looking um, okay. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say anything too <laughs> prematurely until all these guys have had a, a chance to look at everything else, but you know, it should be too much for a change. Running out of London, straight north up towards Manchester over Glasgow, all the way up to Iceland, straight over quite northern quite Greenland, quite. then over into the northern territories mm. of Canada, way above Lake Winnipeg, and then we come down over here into the United yeah, yeah. States, and then down into Salt Lake City, and then come into Vegas yeah, from yeah. the east. It's a night stop in Las Vegas, uh, drop her off there, uh, and then the next morning 
uh, a little briefing over breakfast and then we take her down to uh, Penal Air Park, which is south of Phoenix. So um, it's going to be 95.7 tonnes. Yeah, yeah, you agree with that? Absolutely, yeah. you're happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Um, Some of the 20 changes. There's a bit of wind coming right over, the, over London at flight level 340 there. Oh, yeah, uh, here there's a small one at 320, and that's a fairly big one of 160 knots going across this there, so it's reasonable to expect a bit of turbulence as we cross that part. Watching. Oh, and my godson nice. as well, Lewis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gems, Rosie, Bob. <laughs> See you in a bit. Yeah. Hi, Hayden, and hi, Louise. some of the documents and make sure that it's uh, basically MOT'd and insured and all that sort of thing. This is the insurance certificate which shows that we are insured for 2,000 million US dollars. to left, which is the main entrance door where most of the passengers come in, and then we just walk around the aircraft clockwise, uh, looking for really obvious things like uh, leaking, any leaking fluid coming out of the wrong areas, any doors and hatches that are not open or that are open that should be closed, um, anything unusual. Um, uh, quite an interesting thing, on the pylon on the engines is a little black strip, and uh, Part is attached to the wing, and the other part is attached to the pylon. And if there's been, for example, a heavy landing, or if that's been given some duress, that strip may not be exactly in alignment. So that's one thing that we look at to make sure it's fully aligned, to make sure it hasn't been through any heavy landings. Um, on the gear, uh, on the wheels, you probably, I think I've seen this before. And you, there are brake wear pins, which same on the 78 that you were covering the other day. So we check that they've got enough brake wear in them remaining. And then we go round the back, round the stabiliser, uh, check all the APU outlets and uh, the outflow valves and make sure none of those have got anything untoward. The stabiliser is roughly in the right position as we expect it to be in. And it's a case of just a general look-see to see if we can see anything unusual we don't like. And in particularly in icing conditions, uh, we have a good look at all the surfaces and the wings before we make our decisions on whether we're going to require de-icing. It's not a problem at all today. Uh, too warm, no, no, no problem with that. So that's the general, general outline. radar dome is all intact. Icing detectors, dynamic pitot tubes and alpha vein. Ground power, electrical ground power, and when we go obviously they can pull those out. For the air conditioning. That strip, that's the black strip. 
strip I'll tell you about. That needs to be a line. In the event of a hard landing, that may be out. Yeah. A little, uh, little aerial sticking out the back, static width, 19 on the wing. This is a great wear indication here. I'm on the big bird having a walk around. So we're happy with fuel, Carl's done the walk around, so yeah, it's time to stop. The aircraft is pretty much set up to go now. When we are in international airspace, which is about 12 miles off the coast um, of Scotland today, although they know where we are, we go through this ritual where we will send a message to our operations. We'll tell them we're in uh, international airspace, and that's when all the, all the uh, documents get exchanged. Hello. 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 How's everybody? Good? Good. Very good. We're good to go, technical acceptance. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, so just a moment we got a technical acceptance, so we're, we're good to go. We've carried out our daily check, and um, we've carried out our transit check there. I've signed the flight clearance, and Zane has accepted the aircraft with his signature there. And we've just put a little note in there. Always good to put, put, put a little personal, personal goodbye to the aircraft. Five point six. 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 Five point six.
feet there, not quite seven, six thousand feet. Yeah. And the D Rep 13 Payers. One five one? Bingo. One five one. Okay, okay send it. We'll leave you to it. Okay. All thank right, you Jerry. very much indeed. Yeah, Have a safe flight. Cheers, Joe. And Thanks, I'm sure Jerry. that everybody uh, around the world who's watching right now are wishing you the very best and um, have a safe journey and, and um, have a great Christmas as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. All Thank the best. you, Jerry. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks, right, Jerry. Take Thank care. Care. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all folks, <laughs> see you soon. Son, who's his son? I love that. It's really, you should see that. Yeah. Have to tag right for a bit? Yeah. Awesome. Nice Yeah.
the last uh, seven four seven flight. We just wanted to wish you all the best in the morning, got this. That's very good, thank you very much. Yeah, it's uh, quite motion today. We need a last one. The night in Vegas and then we'll see the uh, desert tomorrow with the old girl. Bad day. This terminates to make your app six report to Shamwick on one two nine at decimal six two five. So this is for Ops we're sending to say that we're in international waters so all the legal processes can start to happen. We'll send that off. Decision page. Check. Check. Minimums.
right turn, uh, right turn here onto Alpha. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Carl. Cheers, Carl. Well Thank you very much. Lovely. Lovely job. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Say goodnight, Mark. Say goodnight. Reset down here in the 4D and eBay, and then hopefully that should solve the problem. And then when it's done, we'll reset it again. But fingers crossed, we'll find out that should hopefully do. You don't normally see people down here except for Harrison Ford and Wesley Slides normally, but we thought we'd check it out. Feel free to have a look around. Cheers.
1,000. This stretch attitude set, I'd say slightly higher. Yeah. 500. Minimums. Gentlemen, all the way up to the yellow line, yeah. Silence. Any last words, Captain? Thanks for the memories, GV Roy. You've looked after us very well. Thank you. Good night.